Let's talk about a challenge to adoption. Uh, it seems like it's becoming a, a bigger deal uh, as days go go by here, which is hacks and and uh, crypto based crime. We know it it rough crypto based crime roughly doubled last year to to fourteen billion dollars, according to Chainalysis. We've seen a number of big hacks of De DeFi platforms, including the biggest one in history to date last week. Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk about? what you think this does to how how urgent is this what how much damage is this doing to undermine uh confidence in in the technology and, and what should we be doing about it yeah i think it's it's about you know providing a proper service as much as it is about creating confidence uh we're seeing you know uh, my lab has uh, looked a little bit at the uh, types of attacks that are happening in uh, the cryptocurrency space at the moment and trying to do an analysis to understand the, the different style of attacks. But there is one thing that I think it really brings home, and that is the power that software engineers currently are gaining within society. Um, and, you know, traditionally, again, you know, when you have coded something, it probably has crashed someone's computer. At most, it's brought down, you know, someone's network or something like that. Uh, but what we're seeing in today's world with smart contracts, you can actually have genuinely uh, devastating effects with code if it's poorly coded, incompetently coded uh, and those kind of things. So, for example, in one of the, the most famous DAO hacks, uh, the, the way that that hack occurred was the fact that two lines of code were the wrong way around. And if they had been switched around the other way, uh, you know, it wouldn't have been able to have been hacked that way. So I think the important thing to understand is that we need to also think about how we are training software engineers and potentially think about are there types of software engineers that should be uh, certified as able to build these type of smart contracts because they've gone through a certain type of security training. Um, the other angle on that is I think there could be a really good set of services built by someone there, um, uh, someone somewhere basically, where you would run tests of the smart contracts. Because currently, I think they're sort of being tested on the test net. They're sort of tested to see if things work, but they're not being tested for the security. Uh, so I think those are some of the things that the community should be actively working on and developing together to ensure um, safety and security for their customers, basically. 